Ciao ragazzi, Anthony back for Inter Worldwide. My arms are tired, so I'm actually gonna record like this. I know it looks stupid, I know it looks dumb, but I don't care. I've been so busy, I'm so tired, and I just need to get the content out while I go for this afternoon stroll. Forza Inter, Forza Inzaghi, 1-0 against Atletico Madrid. I'll talk loud because the traffic in Gregory Hills is pretty intense. Um, we've gotten the job done in the first leg. Some terrible wasted opportunities. A game where you really knew that both managers wanted to give the other team the ball. But Dimone Simone grabbed this game by the horns. Simone Inzaghi had an amazing managerial performance today. He's grinded it out again. He's taken the boys to a half-time tunnel and he's created another victory. I think that's nine in a row. I think we're unbeaten in 11 and we go to Madrid a goal up. Nowhere near definitive, nowhere near over. The narrowest of margins. They haven't lost a home Champions League tie, I think, in something stupid like 20 years. It might not be that many, like it's a home knockout tie. They haven't lost there in 20 years. But that doesn't mean they can't lose there this year and it definitely doesn't mean that they can't draw and send us through to the quarterfinals. I was able to tune into a fair bit of this game today because I watched a little bit at home, left for work sporadically to get there as the halftime whistle would finish and the second half would start and then watch the rest at work with one of my students. And he thought I was a little bit lunatic when that goal went in, which I am. Forza Inter. How bad were the misses from Arnautovic? Mark, it cuts. Oh my goodness me. Oh my days, oh my days. Not good, but the goal for him will give him so much confidence. The goal for him means that he gets to stand again on his own two feet because there have been so many performances from Marco this season, not just tonight, but in Serie A where he's grabbed a goal, but he still hasn't been good. Tonight, despite missing really bad chances, his overall play build-up and contribution is nowhere near bad. And this is something that hit me properly today. I'm like, the guy hasn't played poorly. He's just done a really shitty job at doing what he's supposed to do. Be a striker and put the ball in the back of the net. He's doing everything else. Mitsika. However, he gets the goal. It's all eyes on Marcus Turam. I haven't had time to check the news in eight hours. So maybe, maybe some people, no, not eight hours, what I'm talking about, six-ish hours. So maybe people have got a little bit more of an idea about his injury. Apparently, he was walking pretty well at the end of the game. Nothing will be forced for Lecce, but it's not like he's going to miss anything further than, you know, possibly at the most Lecce and Atalanta. We do need him back for the second leg, though. We do need him back for the second leg. Tonight, Bastoni was good, Barella was excellent. Lautaro was... Nah, he wasn't good enough because he missed too many chances, man. Too many chances. It's a big occasion. It's the biggest occasion that they've gone to in a while. So, and you've got to also remember that this Simeone Atletico team does what it does perfect to a T. They're so calm defensively. They're so well organized. They were great today. They're everything that an ultra defensive team wants to be. They are everything that an ultra defensive team wants to be. Um, but he's going to have to play differently in this next leg. And I think that's where we can hurt them. I think that's where we can break them. I think that's where we can shift a gear back in order to shift two gears forward and absolutely them where it counts in the next leg in Madrid. I'm confident. I'm confident. I'm not so confident about the trip to Lecce this weekend. That one seems like a trap game and a half. That's a bad trap game, that one. I'm definitely putting money on Lecce or draw. Oh, this sounds like a trap game, 0.5. Ooh, I am not keen, bro. I am not keen for Lecce, bro. Mm -mm. No thanks. Lecce, no thanks. Anyway, some more positivity. Inter are through, not through. Inter gained the advantage, that's for sure. And I just need to hope that nobody else gets injured um, because nobody picked up a yellow that jeopardizes their um, uh, accumulative cards in the Champions League. Although it will be very interesting to look to see if anybody is a suspension away now, one card away. Surely there's a player or two where if they get nicked one more time, they might not get to the quarterfinals. Do, does it re I don't think it resets at the quarterfinals. If it resets at the quarterfinals, someone let me know, let me know below, because that would be dope. I've probably forgotten a couple of things, but I'm tired. It's been a long day, but Inter were able to beat 
Atletico Madrid. Shout out to everybody watching. Shout out to all the Inter fans around the world. And I'll be back with more content soon. Forza Inter, bro. Ciao.